I wanted to make a real quick commentary on something I noticed yesterday, actually. Um, an antibody test came out for coronavirus, and um, antibody testing in uh, Boston, I think maybe it was uh, somewhere in California, but some antibody tests for coronavirus have been performed, and those tests are starting to show that a massive number of people may have been exposed to coronavirus and developed antibodies and thus resistance to the virus. So, if we take the totals of everything so far, what does this mean for us? Well, it means that more people have been infected than we know, possibly drastically so. And you have to think, the people who would be tested, normally what's going on with them is they have symptoms, so they go in and they get tested. Um, or they were directly near someone who went in and got tested and tested positive. But now, we're starting to see that the antibody tests say, hey, guess what? Uh, people may not actually um, be affected by this nearly as much as we thought. The, uh, and, and what this would do would make the death rate and the, even the serious symptom rate plummet because if the number of people infected is drastically higher, that means that the number of cases is drastically higher. So here's where I'm going with this. I, I didn't want to discuss that part. I wanted to discuss what came after it. So that was like four or five days ago. Two or three days ago, the World Health Organization, uh, which has lots of ties to China, you know, and China's exploiting this to try and, and pummel the United States down so that China can be a world superpower again. Um, the World Health Organization comes out and tells everyone, oh, there is no proof that corona anti coronavirus antibodies um, mean that you're immune to coronavirus. My observations, oh, it does. antibodies never mean that you're immune. They, they mean that you're mostly immune, usually. Um, they may even just mean that you're resistant. But the bottom line is that it's not a factual, um, or rather, it's not a novel statement to say that antibodies don't make you immune. Antibodies don't make you immune, that's not how that works. They, they might make you practically immune, like in the case of measles plus herd immunity nuking almost all variants of it. Uh, but as we've seen, people can get measles even, um, even after being vaccinated against it due to mutations from people not being vaccinated and then coming into contact with them. So that part is stupid. Um, but then there's also the no proof bits, like, oh, we haven't tested these enough. You know, we, we don't know for a fact that antibodies, you know, make you immune. So what they're doing is they're really trying to say, disregard these antibody tests. I ignore it. Just ignore that. And pay no attention to the antibody test behind the curtain. Um, c continue to lock down the United States and ruin your economy so that China can exploit it for maximal gain. That's what's really going on there. So just think about that for a minute. Um, it, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. The, the authoritarian agenda was at risk, so they came out and made a statement that doesn't actually say anything that isn't already common knowledge, but it's phrased in a very careful way to try and make you think, upon reading it, oh, those antibody tests don't actually mean anything. They mean a hell of a lot. And it's just an attempt at dismissing, because what happens with people is they'll read a headline and they'll just sort of make some a bunch of vague connections from it. They're exploiting that to get you to think a certain way. Don't fall for this kind of crap. This whole coronavirus thing, it, it's just, it's become this massive political tool. It is no longer about disease, unknowns, containment, whatever. We, there are, there are treatments, there are known values, and we have WHO, which is the propaganda arm of the Chinese government at this point, given some of the uh, people running it, <laughs> several Chinese ties to high, be yeah. <sighs> Don't let authoritarians win by exploiting your fear and allowing you to become willfully ignorant. Take care.